enough that I did Devils games because there's no reason to go to Brendanburg Arena. I mean, you take the you take New Jersey Transit right into the Garden, so it's always much more fun to see Ranger games. Plus, that's the world's most famous arena. So <laughs> I definitely have lots of Ranger love in my my viewing history. So, um, but like I said, living here in Flyers lands, you know, you get to see their game. They they stink now, so it's fun to see the other teams you know, pound the hell out of them as they kind of you know, right to the ship. So we'll see. Like I said, there's every spot was, was taken tonight. There's no open spots, nothing to, for me to sell off in the room. So it's, like I said, it just, we don't have to do any rolling because it's the only box that I have. Two more are on the way, but they won't be here till I believe Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest. So um, we can get right into this cracking. Um, no, or maybe not a cracking. <laughs> Crack the box. Maybe not the Seattle cracking. So everybody there, like I said, we got a, a couple new names. Um, hopefully, if you if you're watching the video and you're you would like to continue breaking other hockey, we have a nice pick your player stuff. The Waffle Board Breaks product that's still stacked there behind there. We have um, um, 34 boxes right now with 37 jerseys, three double jersey boxes. The spots, the pick your player spots, are all on eBay. Anybody that's not familiar with that. Um, you bid on your spots on, on eBay, and then we break that, the double box. We do two boxes on Sunday, so it's a double box listing. So your bid for your bid is for that spot in both boxes. We really pick them on a randomizer um, Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. So, I mean, if you're new to us, like I said, I just saw some new names here that have been around. Um, Grant and um, Nick, I believe, and um, Jordan Ross is... You know, Jim, I think, has been with us in the past. But, you know, like I said, a bunch of you guys, you know, I see familiar names from the Waffleboard Break, so you guys know the drill. But um, just uh, anybody that's new to us that's here for the Hip Parade Box, we will be doing Hip Parade Boxes the next two Fridays. And then, but if you want to stop by, you know, bid on the spots for Sunday, the, the double box break is for those white boxes behind. Um, the spots are available on eBay. Then we do two live fills. Right now we're doing a Tuesday and Thursday. We do live fills for one box each night. We break them. So I mean, the odds are increasing every time we bust a box. The odds get better that the spot will hit. Um, I will repeat it until it hits. We, uh, eBay was, does not let me list uh, Marty Turco or Joe Saki. Right now they maybe stop Saki. I was no problem listing Saki for weeks. And then this past week I was told... It ended, they ended it automatically. So I was told that I was not able to list the Joe Sockick spot. So I will be listing after the eBay spots ends on Sunday between 6 and 6.30. Um, if sometime before 7, I will put an unsold list up if there are any, as well as the Turco for $8 this week and the Sockick for 22 So, um, but that's going to go up sometime, you know, after the boxes or after the spots end. And before probably around seven, like that's my, my game plan. So you look out for the the if you want to grab the sake or the turco or any other unsolds, keep an eye on it for your Facebook alert if you join the Facebook group. So um it's pretty pretty smooth, obviously. And most much of you guys are also in the Facebook group. So um I know some people don't have access to it that do eBay, they don't have access for whatever reason, um, to Facebook. But um definitely if you if you do have the ability, you know, it's no no real trouble to just join the group and then you'll get the updates and, you know, you see all the posts. And you can see every one of the jerseys. I posted pictures of all the jerseys there. So so you have a chance to check them out as well. So uh, let's get breaking. Okay. Let me see. The box we have from Series 1, box 57 of 100. Okay. 5,700 is David Adams. There was there was something good. I'm feeling pretty good. So we'll see what comes out of this box. Good luck to you guys. And we'll see what comes in the mail to you on this week. But 59 actually. 59 of 100. Like I said. 59 of 100. Okay. Good luck, guys. Let's figure out who the winner is. The Hickory does is good, and they, they do this. Looks like 
Curtis Joseph. A nice Reebok jersey. How about that one? Curtis Joseph. Okay, it might be. Like, so I'm not sure if it's going to be Reebok Pro, but it might be. It's a little on the heavier side. Let's see if they have the price cut. Um, and it does. It is a Reebok Pro. Cujo. How about that one? Very nice. Heavyweight Reebok Pro jersey. Toronto Maple Leafs. Curtis Joseph. Fantastic. Really nice. Okay. Do us right. How about that? Hip parade. Toronto Maple Leafs. Cujo. Very good. Said. I noticed that there are a couple soft hits. It's nice for them to come through us with a, come through with us with a, a nice Cujo Reebok Pro. How about that? Woo hoo it is. Chris Curry la 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 is the winner. Cujo. Let me look at my sheet to make sure he's not drunk early this Friday night. And that is correct. That is Chris. Congratulations, fine sir. Toronto Maple Leafs, Curtis Joseph. How about that one? There's another gentleman that's, I believe he's not in the Hall of Fame yet, but he's highest wins of anybody that's not. I mean, he's knocking the door. So I think there's always a campaign to get him in. We had a bunch of goalies go in this year, and it's been several years since we've had any goalies. So um, I think Barasa went in this year. Uh, I think else went in. Barasa went in. Somebody else went in. I don't think he made it, though. So he was definitely one of the ones that's knocking on the door. And more than likely, we'll get in probably in the next couple of years. Somebody with that many wins is more than likely to get back into the Hall of Fame at some point. So congratulations to Chris. That is a nice hit parade hit. Reebok Pro Cujo. Very nice. You said, you know, we've, you know, I don't know if I have 50-50, but, you know, I feel like they we had a couple, couple soft tips from them. So it's nice for them to come through with us. What a nice Cujo. Like, that is not a headliner, but that's a really, real nice um, Reebok Pro from their unlisted. Now, I don't know if he might have been on the partial or not, but I think he might have been on the partial. So congratulations to him. Like I said, I do have two more boxes coming this week, so we'll see if they continue to do us right or if they do us a little dirty. But, I mean, fortunately, that's a really, really nice hit. So congratulations. I will see you guys Sunday for the double box. Talk to you then. Thank you much. Bye.